Hey y'all. Do you know what today is? Huh? Huh? It's wash day. This is me hyping myself up for wash day. My name is Dasha, I'm also known as the hair doula and I have a treat for you today. So today is a special wash day because I just got a haircut from a dope salon and they gave me a literal instruction manual on how to do my hair. Um, I don't usually do wash and goes, but I've been wanting to wear my hair out, which is one reason that I cut it because before I cut it, it was flat. I'll go there later. But that's why I cut it, is because I wanted to be wearing it out more often and big. Because like, why spend years growing your natural hair if you can't wear it out and have it big, right? Is this three front and back pages? It's three front and back pages on how to do my hair, the recommended products, all of that. And, products right here oh yeah oh yeah it's real um so first step obviously is going to be shampoo my hair to clean it this is what I'm gonna be using to shampoo my hair right here and it says to use a 50 cent piece size for this this is what is recommended this is not that brand this is terrine fusions Handmade natural hair and body care. Ooh. Oh, it smells like candy. This smells really good. I'm gonna love this. Wow. Okay, so that's the first two. Here we go. So this is Shape Shifter. This is again by that um, Moxie brand, original Moxie Oasis. So she told me to layer these. She said, can you see that? She said that the order of which in which I layer them doesn't really matter. But she said they work well together, that I need to use them together for my hair, for my curls to really pop. So this is by Innersense. It's called I Create Volume, and it's, called, it's a volumizing lotion that provides fullness and manageability. Oh. Innersense. This is cool, it says, hair ceremony. Take a deep breath and become centered. Distribute. Throughout damp hair, use fingertips to work. Oh, so a hair ceremony is just like the instructions on how to use it. That's dope that they call it hair ceremony. Cool, and then that's, that's, that's it. She told me after that, after that I need to let my hair air dry most of the way and then blow dry it to finish off the last like. I'm about to go. Hop in the shower. Cause this is what I'm working with now. <laughs> so I am back. My deep conditioner is in my hair. I washed it. I didn't really, I did some light finger detangling while I was washing it. And then I put the deep conditioner in again, light finger detangling and I did it in just two sections. And um, so it's in here. I have somewhere to go. So I am going to put on a head wrap with while I have my deep conditioner in. I'm gonna co cover it with a plastic cap. In my case, it's the grocery bag. And then I'm gonna wrap it up and get ready to go. Alrighty. Got my wrap done. I'm gonna go run my errands and I will catch you when I get back. I'm gonna rinse this out and continue with the rest of my routine. I am back and I have finished part of my hair, but I left a little bit to show y'all. So I did most of it in the shower because when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that your hair is soaking So I'm gonna be using my little mister. I love this thing. 
And then the first thing that I will be putting on my hair is this Oasis Moisture Gel. After the Oasis Moisture Gel, I'm gonna be putting the Shapeshifter Reforming Cream. I'll, well, those two are by um, Original Moxie. And then lastly, I'm gonna be doing I Create Volume by Innersense. Lots of moisture. Lots of water. You want it to be wet. I detangled my hair while I was rinsing out the deep conditioner and I will say that deep conditioner was amazing. When I was first putting it in my hair, Oasis Gel Moisture, and I'm gonna put about, this is a small piece of hair, so really like a dime sized amount. But while I was putting the deep conditioner into my hair, it didn't feel like it was very slippery and I was like, what in the world? I was expecting this to be slippery. It's got marshmallow root and it's got slippery out. Why isn't this slippery? But after I let it sit in my hair and then I went back in and just boop, dabbed it in some water, it was love, literally love for my hair. So I highly recommend that deep conditioner, y'all. Highly recommend. And I'll leave the descriptions, I'll leave the links to all the products in the description box. And then I'm going in with the second one, the Shape Shifter. Again, just a little bit because this is a little piece of hair. Really, that was probably more than I needed. Basically, if you've ever watched YouTube, you see the praying hands method, you wanna do that. And then the last thing I'm adding, is inner sense, but before I add that, I'm gonna spritz a little bit more water because again, I wanna make sure that my hair is wet. So again, going in with the inner sense, just gonna do a small dab because a little bit of this goes a long way. I will say these products were more expensive than the products that I normally buy, which is cool. Um, and so you can see the definition kind of starting to form. I'm gonna leave that alone. And I'm gonna do the other side. So same thing, spritz. Make sure it is super wet. Going in first with the Oasis Moisture Gel. Just a little bit, because this is a little section of hair. Like a dab dab. These products are really excellent. And uh, and how far they go. And then again, a little bit of the shape shift there. Just a finger dab in there. This, I think this section is even smaller than the one on the other side was. And then I'm gonna spritz just a bit more water. And going with the inner sense, I create volume. I was instructed to air dry it to about 80%. Well, really, really, I was instructed to get a hood and dryer. Let me, let me make sure that I am completely transparent. I was instructed to get a hood and dryer. It's on my list, it's on my agenda. I have not yet gotten one. Um, my next instruction after get a hood and dryer is if you don't have a hood and dryer, let it air dry to like 80% and then blow dry it. Okay, so I decided to blow dry it I had my diffuser on. 
these little doohickeys. Um, I blow dried it. It's not all the way. Whoop. It's not all the way dry yet. It's mostly dry, and I'm definitely getting the volume that I wanted. So I decided to blow dry it because what I remembered is when my stylus does sit me under the dryer, it's very, very defined, and it's like it's so defined that it's like flat. And I'm going for the best. <laughs> The big look, that's the whole reason I cut my hair is because I wanted to be big and fluffy and round. So I was like, well, I wonder what my first day here will look like if I just blow dry it. And this is what I'm getting thus far and I'm loving it. I haven't picked it, I haven't, I haven't put my fingers in it. And you can see that it's still, even in its voluminousness, it's still defined. bouncy and movie and all that grand awesome stuff so I'm gonna roll with it this week see what happens over the course of the week and I'll be keeping y'all updated on the progress the process what it looks like what's going on with it what it looks like when it's hundred percent dry Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn those bell notifications on if you wanna see more about me and my hair. And I will see y'all soon, bye.